oh, the quality of this video is going to suck. <laughs> hey guys, uh, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This is a Clara's chat video and it is late at night, like 11 o'clock at night on Friday. And um, yeah, so this video is going to be super crappy because I'm filling, um, filming on my laptop. And hopefully you can hear this because it's late at night. I don't want to wake anybody up. It does kind of look like I got a haircut. Anyway, for those of you who are new to my channel, I don't typically film a lot of chatty videos, um, mostly Dollar Tree and toddler organizing, sometimes Walking Dead. But occasionally I'll do a chatty video just to kind of chat and see how people are doing. And so there won't be anything interesting you know, any products on the screen or anything. So I usually say in these videos, if you want to let me keep you company while you're getting ready in the morning or maybe winding down for bed or whatever, cooking dinner, putting your makeup on, whatever. So, um, yeah, I'd love to keep you company. If not, totally fine. Not everybody's into chatty videos. There was a time when I really wasn't into them. But sometimes it's just nice to have something else to listen to besides the radio or TV. But yeah, I hope everybody had a great week this week. And I, it does kind of look like I got a haircut, right? So for those of you who have gone to long hair to short hair, like you ever imagine, oh yeah, this is how I look with short hair. You get your hair cut and it doesn't look that way. It looks, I don't know, way flatter or whatever. I'm so sorry about the quality of this video. It's going to be horrible. But, um, yeah, so no haircut. This is, my hair is long still. And um, I'm pretty much ready for bed. Like, I have my nightwear on. <laughs> Just got to take my contacts out. But, yeah, so I wanted to talk about a couple of things, which I'm sure a lot of you know about a couple of um, freebies. So if you have a Panera near you, you should totally, totally join their rewards thing. It's totally free. You get one of those, either a regular card or a little card, but you don't even have to. You could just link your number with the account and you don't have to carry anything with you. They give freebies all the time. And even just over the past six months, I've had three months worth of freebies. One month, um, I got a free coffee for every day, one coffee a day. One month was a free bagel every day. And now August 2016 is a free coffee every day. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And on your birthday, you get, like, a free pastry and a coffee. And, you know, there's other uh, freebies and discounts throughout the year. So, I don't know. I think it's pretty great. And, honestly, I hardly go there. It's not like I spent all this money and they're like, oh, let's give her freebies. No, they're not rewarding me. So I go there maybe like once every other month to meet a friend. And that's because they like, like they're obsessed with Panera. So, okay, I'll, I'll meet you there. So, yeah, I really like that. So another freebie is one by Walgreens. And a lot of you might know about this. They've done it for years now. And it's where essentially they give you a free, um, I forgot the dimensions, but it's like eight and a half by 11 kind of picture. Eight, no, free eight by 10, excuse me, photo. And you, you upload it um, on their photo thing on their website. And you type in a code and it is completely, completely free. Now, it's only for glossy, I think. And um, you have to pick it up. So essentially, I guess you pay for the gas to go pick it up. But I mean, if you have a Walgreens down the street, or if you got to go to Walgreens anyway, that's a pretty good deal. And you can make presents out of it. You know, you could put that eight by ten photo of of your kids or your dog or you in a frame, <laughs> or you know, or, or or you know, make take a picture of a beautiful flower or something put it in a Dollar Tree frame and boom, you got, you got a little present there. So yeah, I've, I've done that deal before and this was actually a Dollar Tree frame. See? <laughs> and this was the photo. Ooh, reflection into reflection into reflection. Oh, but yeah, so totally easy to do. I mean, the, the quality of the print is not like la creme de la creme you know it's not the best of the best but i like it 
works for me. Uh, and I will include the code below because I think I think it expires Sunday or something. Like, so yes, I think that's a really, really good thing. Kroger has freebies all the time. They have freebie Fridays a lot. And this week was something I wasn't interested in. I think it was like a power bar or something or, or some kind of bar, like a food bar. Um, the other kind of bar I might've liked. Just kidding. I meant chocolate bar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, like, um, like a nutrition protein bar, which I usually like, eh, like I'd rather just, you know, eat some fruit or something. But, uh, yeah, I used to do like really hardcore couponing with the big binder with the zip around. And, um, so the coupons wouldn't fall out and I would go to target, you know, at target by the register, where they have all those baseball cards and stuff. They sell, I think it's like 20 or 40 pack of baseball card inserts. So, you know, you have nine slots per page. You can put coupons in. I was hardcore. I did that. I would buy five papers a week because that's what Dollar Tree would sell me at maximum. And yeah, I mean, every Dollar Tree is a little different there. Some don't sell more than one paper per person. But anyway. So, um, yeah. And it like, if I were to buy our Sunday paper, otherwise outside of Dollar Tree, I think it's like, what is it? Like six bucks. I, it's a lot. To, I don't know. I think it's a lot for me considering, especially that you can get a lot of your news online these days. And a lot of the newspaper seems to be ads. It's like, why is it gotta be so expensive? Anyway, oh, I just realized, so the dishwasher is running right now, so I apologize if there's background noise. Um, yeah, that's, that's the sounds of a house. You probably heard that <laughs> at night, and the laundry's going. So yeah, so let's see, what else have we been up to this week? So we had a competition going. I am part of a group that holds a competition for um, middle school and high school, and uh, I never reveal the location of where I am just for security purposes. Um, but if you're interested in that kind of thing, you know, all you have to do is pretty much Google it and say like, um, um, singing competition and whatever your city is or, or, or a nearby city. And what we do is, um, we encourage these youngins to sing and and they have a group number and they perform and essentially they compete for audience votes and stuff and um, there's judges too and it's kind of a neat thing because they we say from the get-go that the spirit of the competition is more as a camaraderie kind of thing you know everybody's scared and nervous and and maybe a little anxious about going on stage and that kind of thing so in the end, these kids, they end up being more like friends versus being super catty and, and, and mean, or at least they're not to each other's faces, you know? I'm sure there's some negativity, but the spirit of these, ch of these kids is just, it's amazing to me. And it's amazing how they seem way more mature than some adults that I know that need to calm down with the competitiveness, especially moms being competitive about, um, oh, well, well, right now, most of my mom friends, they're moms of toddlers. So they're not really competing for grades. They're more competing for how better of a mom they are. That's the, how it feels. So they're like, oh yeah, well I do this, 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 this. And it's, it's like information that they offered and it wasn't asked. And it was kind of like, for some people, it's obvious that they want to talk about stuff. Other people, it's pretty obvious that they're trying to get some kind of, I don't know, they're being a bit of a intention, attention whore, if, if you understand that term. That's a common term. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of like, really? To be honest with you, when I get together with moms, we talk about our mom stuff for maybe like 20 minutes. I mean, it's not really that long. And then the rest of the time, <laughs> It's just like being with girlfriends where you're talking about 
um, your partner or your household, women issues and makeup. And, and it's nice to have that flexibility of talking between, you know, the heavier stuff, the deeper stuff, and then the more superficial kinds of stuff. There's nothing wrong with either one. So nice ladies camaraderie kind of thing. So yes, so we had that competition this week. And then um, we actually are going to be taking a trip to Philly. And it's kind of a last minute kind of thing. Um, mm. I'm drinking out of my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. You probably can't see this dog. This is the kind of dog I have. Except this is a blenheim. I have a ruby one. A ruby. She's all like redhead. Like a light brown kind of thing. Drinking strawberry, banana, and water. That's it. That's all you need. Don't need the sugar. Don't need any, you know. Although sometimes I'll put flaxseed, chia seed, protein powder. But this one is just simple, simple. So last night a trip to Philly. And, you know, after looking up hotels and stuff. What is the first thing you think I looked up? as far as where to go. Dollar Tree. Yeah, yeah, Dollar Tree. How <clears throat> addicted and obsessed. I mean, really. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to go so out of my way to go. But if our hotel in Philadelphia happens to be near a Dollar Tree, then I might go. But yeah, I was trying to think of other YouTubers who live in Philly. And the only one I could think of, she's not on YouTube very much at all lately. I don't know if she even really watches. I mean, she's been so busy. I'll have to look in my address book to think to see if maybe there's some other people in Philadelphia. I went to one in Rochester, New York, or around Rochester, New York. That was actually like, it was kind of like an odd location, but it had really good stuff there. They had Weebles, they had the Weebles there. Do you, do you guys remember that? Um, the Weebles are those toys that are shaped like eggs, and they had them in the 80s, and I think they've come back, and they kind of wobble like this, and if you try to tip them over, they just kind of bounce back up. I don't know if I, that made any sense, but um, so we'll see where to go. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Some people were saying there's this museum called the Please Touch Museum. It's great for kids, you know, and that there is the Hershey, you know, like Hershey chocolate. You could, we could do a tour there. So I'm excited and I think it'd be a nice last minute summer vacation. I'm still saying summer vacation. <laughs> Although I understand why a lot of you have told me that you really feel like you're in fall and so you're decorating for fall because a lot of you have been in school since mid-August. So I totally understand, totally. I would feel the same way, but we don't start school because my daughter's in a special kind of program they do assessments and stuff the first one or two weeks. We don't start school until mid-September, so like a month after you guys. So then I will probably feel like it's more like fall and maybe I'll bring out the fall decorations. And then before you know it, it'll be Christmas time and I won't want to decorate for Christmas because I just put up the frickin' fall one. So, you know, frizzy, 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 frizzy. Uh, yeah. So I think that's it for this chat. I hope everybody is having a great night. Have a great weekend. Tell me about Philly. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.